Hi everyone, this is a series of videos about ADEX CDCA exam and I'm going to start with some orientations about the difference of the two, type, two types of typodon from Accidental because since 2020 after pandemic Accidental started to not to do the restorative portion of the exam on patients anymore and started to do one special teeth like those you see this one that has decay here so this is a, the restorative one okay and this is called Modu Pro 1 or Modu Pro M300 so the difference between this one and the other one and I think it's tricky to have two types of type of don because you have to have you have to buy two different sections. This is the section, the Modu Pro One or M M three hundred comes in just one arch like this, upper and lower, and then you go here and you unscrew and you place for number nine, for example, the carries tooth right here. This one is on distal. This one the carries is on mesial. So. It varies, sometimes it's on this or on mesial, they are going to tell you at the moment of the exam. Then you have also number 29. This one has carries on this toe, as you can see by this shadow here. Right? So, and then we also have number 30. Sometimes the decay is on this toe, like this one. You can take a look here. Or sometimes the cavity can be on mesial. So the difference between these two type of don't is, as I said, this one comes in just one section and the gum is soft like gum, okay? And then the other one, that's the other type of don't that you're gonna do prost the bridge and number nine and also number eight in this case this one here doesn't it's not prepared for number eight and though it comes this way the name of this one is m200 m200 comes with sections like this and for number four it comes like missing number four and like a a cover for the for the socket and then you can change the teeth here and then it comes with another segment here that it comes with this portion here the number 13 and number 14 come together number 14 is the one that you're gonna do just the end of opening and the way you remove it it's not by screw but coming here in the back and just pressing this part and this whole segment segment is gonna come out and this one is prepared already and this is not a so good preparation anyway but just an ex example so you get the new one you place here and you're gonna prepare this way and for number eight you have this little screw here that it's important to hold the number eight in position that's the one that you're gonna do the whole root canal right you're gonna do opening but also the whole root canal and that tooth has pulp like this right and you're gonna do root canal and you're gonna be one millimeter to two millimeter from the apex you're gonna remove all that wax this is wax what you see red inside it's wax and you don't need the x-ray because they are going to allow you to measure the tooth outside before you start. So if you measure that, I can get the, the um, my, my uh, caliper, but the measurement of this tooth is 24.9 or 25.0 or 25.1 millimeter. So you can consider pretty much 25 millimeter, and then you start to work with your working length as 24 okay so it is important that you know the difference between those type of don'ts because 
When you buy tea, it's important that you have some type of don'ts to train at home. I do recommend that you train at home like at least two, three months before the exam. And whenever you buy tea for this one, this is for M200, for Prost, those tea uh, those don't fit on this one, the restorative, okay? And the ones M300 or Modu Pro 1 also don't fit here. So whenever you're buying replacement, replacement tea, make sure that you're buying the right one. You're gonna have buy like several number five, num number three, number five, and then number eight endo, and then number nine, and then also number 14. Number three, five, and nine, they are cheap, around two dollars something, two twenty, something like that. But those endo ones, they are expensive, like almost 17 20 dollars something like that right and then for the other one for the restorative you have here number nine you have it for restorative like this with carries but you also have like the regular number nine that you can put on this one the difference between this one and this one is pretty obvious because the one that is for, for with carries the color is kind of yellowish as you can see right and the root is like this it's red with this cervical area kind of orange okay and, but the regular one you can also if you want to practice number nine prep on this one i don't recommend because the shape of this one is too thin the number nine here is too thin for preparation i prefer to use the m200 and that's the one that you're gonna do anyway so get for this one but whenever you see a number here, you're going to see this number like number nine, right? So whenever you see teeth for this one, you're going to see how interesting is that. The teeth for number for the Modo Pro M300 or Modo Pro 1, that's the same name for the same type of don't. They have the number, but then they have this little sign right here in front of it. So you know that this one is for Modu Pro 1, not for Modu Pro 200, not for Prost. Okay? So, and I do recommend you guys to, you know, search on eBay to get um, used one because people train for the exam and then as soon as they pass they don't need it anymore so you find it as cheap as cheap as like 50 60 80 dollars if you buy a type of don't like that from Accidental, it's gonna be almost 300 dollars and if you buy one you don't need to buy the whole structure you can buy just the segments let's see for example you already have the endo prost one and you want to buy the segment for Modu Pro 1. So you don't need to buy the base. You can try to search on eBay to get just the restorative like this. Or you can, if you don't find it, sometimes you don't find it. It's like seasonal. Then you have to go to a Cadento website. And then you can buy just the segment with the teeth. Okay? I think pretty much that is um, some important information because people do mistakes all the time when they buy those teeth. And I can provide links later to Accadento to to make sure that you buy the, the right ones, okay? That's it.